I'm working on it, man. Finish this, we'll go. No, we don't have a plan. Fire into place, we've never been to before. Okay, you got everything? You got your dog bed? You got your water? What are we forgetting? Well, we got the list. Now we're ready. Right? So we're going camping today and we picked the perfect day because there's a weather system coming through so it's really really cloudy out. We're just uh, coming up out of the valley and just getting ready to head into the foothills of the Sierra Nevada. You can see that. So this is our pretty much our time to shine because in a couple of days it's going to hit about 100 degrees in the, in the, in the valley and uh, yeah that's not fun. I don't mind the heat so much but I can't stand the air conditioner build. Me and the dogs, we're gonna go up and we're gonna go see if we can find a camp spot and go hang out in the wilderness and do what we do. So if you guys like this sort of thing, stick with us. And if not, I'm not gonna blame you for leaving. I don't know if I'd even be watching me. It's pretty ridiculous sometimes, don't you think? All right, so this, see that right there? We're gonna come back and see if we can grind that off. That's that's a good idea. It's a tag, I don't know. SPK? Oh, somebody tagged that up. But uh, we'll remove it. Okay, we're coming up to the turn off uh, and we'll see what we can find up here. When there's a fork in the road, we take it. Okay, so we're on my thing. We made it all the way up here to this little spot that I spotted out next to a spring. Look, tree down in the way. Is that gonna stop us? Probably. Are we gonna go look over? Because we're seriously like right there. So I'm gonna take the dogs out. We'll go for a little hike. We'll just leave the truck right here. Maybe I'll flip a bitch and uh, yeah, let's check it out. Okay, truck is way over there. We are so close to the little spring area, but the second obstacle is gonna be this tree right here. But I didn't bring, <laughs> I didn't pack my chainsaw. The first one I could probably get around. The second one, this one, definitely should have brought the old steel. But uh, then there's another tree right over here. But I like this spot. We can, I can get some, uh, dang. Wally, come. Check this out. Look, look it, right there. Right here, holy shit, these are, uh, Wally, look it. With the shotgun in the truck. Look at that. That is guaranteed bear prints. Guaranteed bear prints. Hey, bear. <laughs> Dude. Can you please go? Look at. Oh, what? Look at that. Guaranteed. Wow. He came tromping through here. Look at this. Oh, I'm so stoked at this right now. Decent size guy too, look at that. Look at, look at that. Huh? You don't want to spook up a bear because I left, I left all the arsenal back up in the truck. But at least I got that guy with me. Harry, you run the diversion. And then me and Wally will get him. Wow. This. Okay. This is the spot. We even got a little bit of snow here. Right here. Okay. I'm coming back here. I'm definitely coming back to this spot. Even with our friendly neighborhood bears, 
This is a good spot, dude. Oh, it's so cool. Damn it. Okay, hold on. Keep rolling just in case we scare up old Mr. Mr. Barney Bear. This is a beautiful day for a hike. Nice and cloudy. This is where they said that spring was on the map. Get closer. Okay, we found it. We found it. Look at this. Look at it. This is on my map they call this ham spring. What do you guys think? It's cold? Alright, we'll probably come back to plan B. We'll go do a loop. I want to go. It's still really early. Sun doesn't get dark. It doesn't get doesn't get dark for a while. So, come on, guys. We see what he's doing. There you go. Good luck to you, old boys. All right. So it looks like we got our first piece of garbage in the wilderness for the day. It's like a Corona. Been here for a while. So let's take that with us. <clears throat> Okay, come on. What's this? A little bit of micro trash. Look at these. Come on, come on. Come on. Okay, come on. Okay, so um, we decided to follow another fire road to do a little more exploring after that really cool session. And yeah, looks like we got ourselves into another roadblock. That's a big one. So, plan C, vitamin plan C. Okay guys, so back in one of our familiar spots, the two roads that we went down, I'm telling you what though, those bear prints, that totally made the trip. That, I am so excited about that, that is cool. Dude, that's, that was sick, that was cool. Uh, all right, so we're gonna get camp set up and we're gonna hang out and enjoy the wonderful cloudy weather. I don't know what temperature it is, but we'll check that in a minute. Let me get my buddy's little pad down. Let's get the bell on Harry, just in case one of, the, one of those bears comes creeping on by here. I saw a couple of deer tracks, but let's get camp set up and let's get comfortable because it is that time to do what we do and hang out in the wilderness. All right, this table. So we got some top sirloin grilled cheese. You guys will see. Got the old barbecue. Let's put Harry's bell on him. You're gonna need your bell, okay? That way we can hear you. Mom, thank you. I'm selling propane and propane products. Where's a good spot for the fire pit, right here? Oh yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting thirsty. I'm so stoked on those bear prints. Hooey. Ooh. Okay. Okay, GoPro, stop recording. This is where we're going to sleep, buddy. Yeah. I think that looks pretty good. There's something about your just old school Coleman sleeping bag. I don't know what these are rated to you, but I've definitely slept in 30 degrees. And these things are just, they're warm. They're big. Yeah. Watch Harry, will jump up here in a second. Oh yeah, cool thing about truck camping too, you bring your big old pillows from home. Don't get this pillow set up, Harry. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Yeah, see? Yeah, here you go. Camp's getting there. I just happened to be looking on the ground and look, I found, it looked like a piece of, it's a piece of metal. Look at, and then as I was doing that, look at this micro trash. You know what this is? I know what this is. See that? That's duct tape that somebody probably put around a lighter. Lighter's gone, duct tape's still here. Duct tape, right? You hungry, Harry? You want some snacks? All right, we'll put this over in our pile and we'll keep adding to it as we go. Ugh. Even though it's kind of cool out, there's still <laughs> bugs. I love that smell.
You falling asleep, buddy? You tired? We did it. What do you guys think of this? Let's see what we got in the snack department. Got some Harris Ranch beef, the never ending can of easy cheese. This is what's in the cooler. <laughs> oh, it's getting dirty. Oh, I got salsa for the breakfast burritos. That's gonna be good. Havarti, look at that. Check the bread out we got. We got some good Italian bread. Oh yeah, and don't forget on the grilled cheese is gonna be, we're gonna grill up some sweet cherry peppers. Yeah. What else I got? We got, ooh, I pre-cooked, I pre-cooked some bacon. I feel like thicker cut salami today. All depends on how you want to play your salami game. How many of these you want to make? Come on, easy cheat. That's the stuff right there. We need to bring a bunch of these in case Mr. Bear stops by. How about that? That was crazy. Nice. All right, guys. This is what we were waiting for. Are you tired, Wally? Oh, dude, this weather. Let's see. The temperature is 60. Oh, dude. It is a nice... 68 degrees Fahrenheit right now. How about those bear tracks? Was that not cool? What do you think, Harry? So, got the camp set up, fire pit right there. We're back in a familiar spot. The two roads that we decided to go travel down, that took up a lot of the afternoon too. Like, you guys didn't see how much driving we actually did because I didn't want to bore you to death, but it was pretty exciting, pretty fun. Um, we're gonna sleep outside again with the bears. But luckily I got my bear dog with me and I got the Red Rider still in the truck. So just in case we need to bust out the old Peacemaker, we got one. Yeah. Oh, I want to show you guys what I brought. I brought kind of something fun to play with. I have an old school metal detector. This is a, it's a cheap model. It's called the Prospector, but it's a lot of fun to you know, see if we can find some metal stuff in the ground. So we'll be playing with this in, in a little bit. And uh, tonight on the menu, we have, I'm gonna do, we're gonna do grilled cheese sandwiches, but we're gonna make top sirloin grilled cheese. So we brought the barbecue right behind me to medium rare up, hopefully some top sirloin, nice and thin. And then I got some special cheeses and some really good bread. And we'll make a, uh, we'll make a grilled cheese top sirloin to enjoy over the fire. And then tomorrow um, I have an experiment with some road burritos that I want to do uh, in the morning. So we're going to hang out, do our thing. You want to eat the bear? Are you going to eat the bear? Hmm? You want to meet a bear? You want to see how I did the bear? right there right here let's see might be interesting it might be a bottle cap might be who knows let's find out gold it could be gold See Wally. Oh, <laughs> we found it. It's a nail. Look at. Good job, Wally. We got a nail. Oh, it's a. Uh, what does this say? Can't read the. But we got a shell casing. 30 carbine. Look at Wally's ground or something. What do you see, Wally? Everybody's on. I'm just keeping my eyes out for bears right now. <laughs> okay. Okay, this just picked, these were just laying in the grass. Oh, this is nine millimeters. You don't need your glasses to be able to tell the nine. Nine millimeter, two of them. Okay, it's in the pile. Oh, found it. Oh, look. Sierra Nevada, family owned and argued over since 19 something. <laughs> Metal detector in the house, huh? This thing's pretty fun. Well, the deal is, is you gotta, you have to cover up your divots. Gotta make it look like you weren't here. All right, who wants another beer? Wally, you thirsty? Nice and fresh, clean hands. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. Garbage. What do we got? Still Coors Country, 
Oh no, this is a Sprite. Some comes flying out of this. This is my last will and testament. <laughs> oh, there's water down there? No, it's water. Looks like a pretty good den. What do you see in there? You know what that reminds me of? You guys see the never ending story? The nothing. He's gonna get you. Rawr. Like a flannel or something over here. All right, hold on. A pair of jeans. What the hell? Maybe it's a pair of Jordashes. 36, 32s. Ugh. Oh God. Okay, these are old. It says it's premium apparel. This has been here a long time. Watch out. Article of clothing today. This is like deep. I wonder if an animal like stole it and stashed it for something. See anything cool yet? Oh, buddy. Whew. Okay guys, it's, uh, it's only about 60 degrees, which is nice. Gonna hang out here and do what we do. Drink a few beers and just kind of chill out. Make some notes in my notebook that I don't know where it is around here somewhere. Should we shoot the BB gun one time? Should we? Should we shoot the BB gun one at least one time? I have it. If anybody's following along, this is the latest piece of camping equipment I got. <laughs> the Red Rider Daisy Carbine. <laughs> that guy ain't a shot. That guy can't shoot shit. Guy sucks. Nothing he can do. Nothing. See you can hit me. Can't hit me. Take me out. I'm done. Nothing he can do. How many shots is it gonna take us to knock that dude's block off? Got him! Got you, sucker! Bueller? Bueller? We're gonna do a little um, dinner prep. Top sirloin. Put it on here. Now, we're gonna pat it down, dry the steak off. You don't want, you don't want a, a wet steak on a hot grill. Are you guys interested in this? It's a little hard because I don't have my big chef knife, but let's we'll see if we can get in here and just... There we go. Butterfly. Actually, it looks like a butterfly, too. I'm bummed out I forgot my tongs at home, but that's okay. Fresh. This is a fresh pack of Montreal. Freshy fresh. Can't get any fresher than it. I do know from experience you can over Montreal. That these are Manzetta sweet cherry peppers, and we're going to grill these. Oh, you still can't believe we forgot the tongs. Okay, guys, this is the part of the video where I let you know what's going on in my head, which is the theme song to He Man. <laughs> he Man. And the masters of the universe. I don't know why I'm thinking. I still am so stoked on seeing those bear prints. I've been looking for bear prints for a long time. I've seen one bear close up uh, my camping career. Like, yeah, like, and it was like, I, <laughs> so my bear story is this. I was, I was camping in campgrounds up at Lake Alpine out here in California and in the middle of the night, I hear this, shush, 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 bah, 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 bah. and I remember being like, oh no. And I zip open the tent, and as soon as I zipped open the tent, from like me to you, right here, from me to you, there is this bear, and he has my big ass igloo cooler, like in in his, like he had it, like he grabbed it, and, he, and there was, there must have been like 30 beers in there. And he had that thing, and, and he looked at me, and he kind of like dropped it, and then he just like, saunters off and I usually don't use the word saunter and the only time I would is in my mind thinking about when that bear walked away but what I really liked about that bear encounter is like when I saw him he looked like a bear like he looked like the prettiest cleanest like I could see like the I don't know if the moon was shining on him but it was just he was like what a bear would look like fuzzy ears like all the details I just remember everything and I remember like looking at him like trying to like reach for my phone that wasn't in my pocket because I it was like in the tent pocket over there and I was like oh my god I wish I would have caught it but that dude bit a hole in my igloo cooler with his canines or you know like because he had the thing 
and I have that cooler today because as we know I have a problem with coolers but I should I should go up and show you the um, the, the little hole where he grabbed onto forgot how many years it was, only, it was a few years ago that that happened but that was cool that was that was pretty special ready all right guys we're gonna use nature's tongs for this. Ready? Let's see if we can hear it. Let's get steak vision better than that. Let's pan off to the In a minute. All right, now let's take our peppers. Ooh, steak is basically done. Okay, now we're gonna take those manzetta peppers and we're just gonna put them right on the grill here. Okay, we'll just use nature's tongs, ready? Yeah! Woo! This is what's gonna be going on a grilled cheese here in a minute. Oh shit, we just dropped our, that's okay. Top sirloin grilled cheese. We got Havarti, we got Monterey Jack with jalapeno cheese. Ugh. Let's see how this goes. Red. Oh. Let's make it work, let's make it work. Now we're gonna take the top sirloin that we cooked. And we're gonna put it in here. We will hook up our dogs. Then, peppers. These are the, the manzetta. Oh, by the way, if you guys like this sort of thing, hit the like button for me. <laughs> or, or do me a favor, <laughs> hit the subscribe button. Go pay cheese tax. We got cheese tax. You can see them. Are you right? You ready to collect? Where's Harry? Come here, Harry. Okay. Oh shoot! No, no, no. We're good this in here. Now the hardest part is going to be the flip. Don't be burnt. Don't be burnt. Don't be burnt. Oh! Kind of half-assed burnt. That's okay. Look at that. This isn't that bad. I've seen worse. Flip it over. Oh. Oh, jeez. Make some triangles. Let's grab this one. That is a top sirloin grilled cheese. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh, uh, huh. oh. Look at that. <laughs> this looks so good. Hold on. Mm hmm. This is so good. I should probably be sitting down. I would say 60% of the time I'm always like, I'm gonna make this. And it always turns out okay. This is good. As I'm just like squatting down and hanging out with you people. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna think I'm gonna try to get up really stupid early tomorrow. This is what I'm thinking. Is it gonna happen? Probably not. But if we did, that'd be cool. Because I have like this, this idea that I wanna do with a, a road breakfast burrito. I have a, a insulator thing I'm gonna try out. But, mm, look. look at that, guys. Dude, look at what's in bears? What? All right, here's what we're gonna do. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Got something on your nose. So uh, I'm gonna finish eating this and, um, 
we're gonna tidy up the camp and then uh, yeah we're just gonna kind of hang out and enjoy it's it's 52 degrees out which is perfect this turned out better than I thought I'm going to tidy up camp hang out for a little bit Ooh. there's a bear in camp <laughs> all right guys what an awesome day what an awesome evening and um, we'll see you guys in the tent. Oh, we're not in the tent. We're sleeping in the cot. I saw them bust out of the tent. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, we'll see you guys in the bed. I'm going to set my GoPro up and see if we'll get pictures of the stars. It goes pretty bright, huh? All right. All right, guys. We're going to bed. Oh, look at it. Obviously, I'm going to take my, my boots off in a minute. But this is the... This is my GoPro that I'm gonna hook up and we're gonna do the, I'm gonna try to do the night lapse. You guys are gonna see what I'm looking at. Anyway, let's take bells off jingle bells. Don't forget, hey, oh. We gotta get the Red Rider out. Ugh. Anyway, I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. <laughs> Can you see me? It's early. It's like five o'clock. I woke up. I slept pretty hard, man. This little cot's comfy. Wally was. Well, Wally's doing his thing. He didn't bark at anything last night. There were so many stars out. Oh my gosh. I hope I hope that came through. I hope we got some pictures of that. I don't know if I'm gonna get up or not. I might. I gotta lay here for a little bit. You know. <sighs> might make a breakfast burrito. That sounds good for the road. Got a cool idea I'm gonna try. Let's see if it works to keep my breakfast burrito warm. Shit! <laughs> That'll wake you up. <laughs> you know what I'm feeling this morning? Before I even drink the coffee. A nice, cold, refreshing country time lemonade. Here it is, guys. That's good. That's why I could almost pound one of these in one shot. These are so good. Hot links. Prepackaged potato in there. Chopped up again. Frito shot. Whew. Okay, GoPro, stop recording. Not take long. This is three eggs. Mm, smells good. Don't be fooled, guys. Cholula, but this is not Cholula. The Cholula bottle is almost empty, so this is a quarter Cholula, 75% Tapatio. Also, see? Monterey Jack with jalapeno peppers. Yes, we like cheese. A little bit more. Okay. Get on. Set it and forget it. Let's warm up our tortilla. That is eggs, potatoes, bacon, hot links, cheese, and what else? And delicious. Turn it on here. Turn it on here. Right on there. How's your burrito rolling skills? Better than average. This is a very crucial part right here. 
see if we can get that a little toasty. Okay guys, time for breakfast burrito vision. Let's see how we did. One side. Oh, that's perfect. Not bad. Two sides. Uh, wrap it up in the foil. There we go. Like that. Oh, this. Here. Okay. Okay, now. Okay, guys. Hot burrito. Yeti's been primed with hot water. Ready? Burrito. Burrito koozie. Push it in there. Close the top. There it is. There it is, guys. Right here. Oh, you're crooked. There is one burrito in the cooler. <laughs> All right, that looks cool. We'll see how we'll see how that's gonna go. There's a burrito in there. Way more better, way more organized. Always working on, I'm always constantly working on new ways to like pack up my stuff to where I can kind of come in and come out with the least amount of resistance. Was that like your flow? All right, let's go check our garbage stash out and we're almost done. All right, let's see what we got in the garbage pile this time. Natty Light with bullet holes, Corona bottle, a Sprite. Dr. Pepper Cherry, piece of metal tube. Duct tape, bottle cap for some micro trash. Don't drop that. <laughs> Another piece of that bucket that we found. A, what, I believe this used to be a tennis ball. We got two nine millimeter casings. 30, 30 what? 30, 30 it just says 30. Sierra Nevada bottle cap. Two zip ties that go with the micro trash pile. Old doggy bags, no wait. One's a doggy bag, the other is a tree marker it looks like. Tiny twist tie. And the creme de la creme, somebody's old pair of pants. Take it with you. Pretty good throw. All right, we gotta find my glasses. All right, guys, that about wraps up another one. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you enjoy hanging out in the woods and eating good food, drinking beer, picking up garbage, and chilling with your dogs, come here, Wally. Come here. Huh? Do me a favor, hit that like button. Even better, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. Or just say hi. Let's get going, Wally. If you guys want to see more of this stuff, hit the subscribe button if you want to. But that's up to you. Anyway, now it's the most important part. <laughs> Let's see if the truck starts up. Well, hi, Harry. What are you doing? Like a glove. Bro, stop recording. It's definitely still warm. <laughs> it works. Dude, it works. It is still warm. Mm. It works. You made something we made actually work. It works. It works! Oh, this is awesome. Oh man, that's good. We made the light. It's a big deal. Woo Yay! We made the light. It's cool. Beep, beep, beep. GoPro, stop recording.